Bonjour, good morning, year four, and welcome to today's French lesson. We are finishing off today what we, we have been learning about this term to do with colours and with body parts. And today we're going to merge the two together so we have some French coloured body parts. Okay, um, and you might ask, why is the dojo monsters down in the corner there? Well, all will be revealed. First of all, we're going to look at these two words here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Singular or plural body parts. We know from our grammar that singular means when there's one of something. And plural just means when there's more than one. Okay, two or more. So there's a difference when we're writing um, words in French. Uh, if there is uh, just one of an object or if there are plural, more than one. Okay, as there is in English, we wouldn't say um, one knows two nose you'd say two noses okay it changes slightly doesn't the same happens in french so if we've got un il or de ye okay that's one eye or two eyes okay un nez one nose or trois nez three noses three noses if you know mine was a lot bigger we could have un bouche mouth or cat bouche okay un bouche or cat bouche okay four mouths you can see here, i'm going with my numbers two three four now you might ask why that un is now un as an e on the end because in french some words are masculine and they have um and would be w one was spelled un um or if they're feminine like bouche okay it has u n e un is un and un okay they mean the same thing but when one's masculine one's feminine they, they are different un ariel sank ariel okay a tongue un ariel sank ariel and you can see that this is feminine as well because it's u-n-e un bla six bla arms okay one arm six arms and is this masculine or feminine well done it's masculine because it has u-n un jambe sept jambes what do you think jam is? Maybe you found this out a few weeks back. Un jam, set jam. Set is seven. Jam is legs. Okay. So we've got some different body parts you can use that. And perhaps you've came up with others. Okay. There's the colours that we looked at the past couple of weeks. Bleu, marron, noir, rouge, rose, vert, orange, gris, violet, jaune, and blanc. Okay. Now, what we're going to have a go at doing today is merging our colours and our body parts to create a wanted poster for um, a monster that we're going to create. Now, the reason why I put on, let me go right back to the start, the uh, dojo monsters is that you may want to describe your own class dojo monster. Okay. Uh, if not, you can design your own. That's completely up to you. Okay. Now, let's go through those again and i'm going to give you this sheet on the website and this will help you so if there's only one it's one of those words there like we had in the previous slide if there's more than one we use the number so de toi cat cinq six sept huit neuf dix if you're going to go look to ten and so on followed by the word so you for eyes nez nose bouche mouth oil tongue bra arms jam um, legs and then we can put a color after it okay so like unes rouge one red nose unes rouge we might say we've got trois years there trois years there okay why am i pointing at the nose trois years there three green eyes now you might be saying why does the color come after the eyes because that's 
you know what happens in most languages i think it's to be honest english is pretty much on its own there in terms of that we use the adjective then the noun okay all colors are adjectives they're not nouns um we say that in english we would say three green eyes the literal translation in French is three eyes green. Now, that sounds a bit peculiar, but that actually happens in most languages. I think English is actually the odd one out. Uh, what have I got next? I've got Saint Jean Noir. Can you remember what Jean was? Well done. It's legs. And this is the best picture I could find for that, actually. It's five black legs. Okay. Now for the next one, I've got hair. So you can't we couldn't say uh toi or cat sang six like five hairs six hairs seven hairs because you have thousands of hairs on your head okay so rather than just put a number we're going to say the okay so we're going to say le cheveux le cheveux okay and then we can put the color afterwards so this one it's it's the blue hair or just blue hair really okay just be careful a little um little fact here be careful with your spelling because cheveux and chevaux if i change that e to an a it actually means horse or horses okay so be careful there's a one letter difference between hair and horses in french le cheveux bleu le cheveux bleu okay it's either blue hair or blue horses okay just be careful which one you choose so year four, you are going to um, write your wanted poster for your monster. There's different ones you could choose wanted posters. They get slightly trickier. There's things at the bottom to help you. Okay. And so pick one of those, um, design your monster and, and send me a list of facts about it. Sort of how many uh, eyes it has, what color the eyes are. Okay. Um, and I look forward to seeing what you've got. If you want to also send me a video of you reading some French out, it can't be any worse than mine okay it's got to be brilliant okay if it's better than mine uh so yeah if you want to send me a video of you reading some of yours out i'd love to see that as well okay if i'll see you later on